How could David be considered a man after God's own heart? We're going to answer that question. You can also discover more on gotquestions.org. To understand why David was a man after God's own heart, we need to see what characteristics he had to qualify for such an exalted description. The Apostle Paul speaks of God's feelings about King David. After removing Saul, he made David their king. He testified concerning him, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to do. The answer is found right in the verse. David did whatever God wanted him to do. But how could God still call David a man after his own heart when David committed terrible sins? We learn much of David's character in the book of Psalms as he opened up his life for all to examine. David's life was a portrait of success and failure, and the Bible record highlights the fact that David was far from perfect. However, he had a deep desire to follow God's will and do everything God wanted. Part of why David is called a man after God's own heart is that he had absolute faith in God. Nowhere in scripture is this point better illustrated than when David, as a young shepherd boy, fearlessly slew the Philistine Goliath. The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. David was fully aware that God was in control of his life, and he had faith that God would deliver him from impending danger. David knew early on in life that God was to be trusted and obeyed, and in turn, God rewards David for his faithfulness. Another reason David was a man after God's own heart is that he absolutely loved God's law. Writing numerous psalms at various and often troubling times in his life, David repeatedly shows adoration for God's perfect word. For I delight in your commands, because I love them. I lift up my hands to your commands, which I love, and I meditate on your decrees. God granted David understanding and wisdom through daily meditation. David was a man after God's own heart in that he was truly thankful. I wash my hands in innocence and go about your altar, O Lord, proclaiming aloud your praise and telling of all your wonderful deeds. David's life was marked by seasons of great peace and prosperity, as well as times of fear and despair. But through all of the seasons in his life, he never forgot to thank the Lord for everything that he had. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. After he sinned, David was truly repentant. David's sin with Bathsheba included adultery, lying, and murder. He had sinned against God, and he admits it to the prophet Nathan. But admitting our sin and asking for forgiveness is only half of the equation. The other half is repentance, and David did that as well. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. David was a man after God's own heart because he demonstrated his faith and was committed to following the Lord. Yes, his faith was tested on a grand scale and he failed at times. But after his sin, he sought and received the Lord's forgiveness. David sought God's law. As a man after God's own heart, David is a role model for all of us. That answers the question, how could David be considered a man after God's own heart? On our website, gotquestions.org, you'll find a deeper discussion and recommended resources. If this helps you, give us a thumbs up and click subscribe. Meanwhile, if you'd like to study more, click the bell and check out these other questions.